Hey guys, what is up? Hope you're having an awesome day, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, I am currently on my way back into Auckland again. Uh, the main reason I'm coming out to Auckland this time is because the home show is on. Um, and I actually I have a secret thing about the home show. I absolutely love it. There's so much cool stuff there. And I think it's actually good timing given that, you know, soon we'll be rebuilding what's left of our house. So, you know, obviously need to go buy some new appliances and stuff. So that will be interesting. Um, but yeah, no, the other main thing is that I'm coming up to do is just catch up with people. You know, like, um, like I love Tauranga, it's great, but I miss my Auckland friends. So there's going to be a lot of that. Um, and I think that, well, I'm staying in the same hotel or motel that I stayed in last time. But I think with a bit of luck, I've got the same room that I had last time, which was actually quite awesome. And I'll show you why. Sweet, made it, got the room that I wanted, super happy about that, for a couple of reasons. One, it's got a very nice big bed, it's very, very comfortable. Um, but the thing that I actually really, really like about this room is that it has this massive desk with all of these charging ports, so I can sit here and like edit videos at night because nobody loves me and I'm not going to make use of that mirror for any carnal reasons. So Ivana's here somewhere, She's the, this motel is kind of like in two different parts, so I have to go find her. But she's here, she's had a hard day working, and I haven't, but we shall go find her. We found Ivana, or well, Ivana found us, she like just broke into my room. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's easy access, it's right by the front door too. Hmm. Except the front door's always open, so I've got the heater cranking, because it was a bit cold in here before. It's freezing tonight. Um, but those of you that have been watching our dating vlogs, good news, Ivana and I are going on a date. Are we? On Saturday. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously really looking forward to it. <laughs> Morning all, uh, I gotta be honest, I did have a little bit of a sleep in, which I'm not complaining about, it was amazing. Um, didn't really do too much last night, so yeah, just got food and Nirvana hung out for a while, and yeah, so today I've got a bunch of meetings, I've got a few people to go and see, uh, catching up with while they're all at work, because today's Friday, so I'll go and do that, uh, and then go get some food, that'll be good, and um, yeah, basically just getting everything set up for tomorrow, so yeah, let's go, come on. Well, that's my first meeting done for the day. I just went to see my mate QJ from NZ Vapor. Um, well, pick up some supplies, but more importantly, um, now that the website's getting some really good traffic, we need to start figuring out what we're going to do in terms of advertising. So, um, we're basically just going to trial some stuff, see what works, see what doesn't, um, see how algorithms work, and all of that technical stuff, which is super exciting, which I don't entirely understand, which is why I get someone else to do it. Um, anyway, I'm at my next meeting now. I'm at Playtech. Um, those of you that have been following us on Twitch, um, you know, we've been involved with Playtech for a really long time. They've been really supportive. So, we're just going to work out some stuff here as well um, and yeah hopefully here's some lunch no I'm not God I'm just Nick this is Tom this is Tom everyone say hi Tom <laughs> <laughs> Tom's a bit of a negative Nancy when it comes to, um, well, pretty much your life in general. <laughs> anything social? <laughs> yeah, 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 anything with a social aspect to it. Tarong is wonderful, thank you, Tom. Are you sure? You don't uh, sound convinced. No, so, no, this is the thing that I've been saying to a lot of people lately that have been asking, is that Tarong is great, but I'm not ready for Tauranga yet, and the reason that I'm not ready for Tauranga is retired. because I'm single, I don't have kids, I'm not retired, yeah. you know? Like, Tauranga is a wonderful place to visit, but like right now I'm just at the point now where it's like, no, I need to be where the action is, and the action is right here at Playtech. <laughs> was that a good plug? Did you like that? That's brilliant. Ah. Whoa, those are cool. Very expensive, but they're worth it. So like, the thing that was supposed to happen is that we were supposed to talk about like serious things, like, you know, like advertising and all that other exciting stuff, but what we're doing instead, which is way more fun, is we're going to play with the HTC Vive because it's here and it's set up and it's fun. These are, these are super awesome. If you haven't seen it, it's like virtual, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, it's VR, virtual reality. So you, I'm going to put on this headset and then I've got these two controllers and they just vibrated when I picked it up and it's still vibrating. <laughs> and um, and then I'm going to stand over here and then you can play cool games and it'll be way fun and um, yeah but we're just playing with it because it's a cool toy and I don't even know what game I'm playing yet Fun house Fun house Fun 
That was a good shot. You lucky, my luck. Oh. I dropped it. Get that shit out of me. Yeah. Jared, Jared. For a racing car game, yeah, that would be super cool. That would be real cool. Especially if you had, if you had like one of these really good seats, like one of these one of these jobbies. That and the Vive would be way cool. I, that, that, that was wicked cool fun. So like, if you guys are in Auckland or anywhere near the Playtech store, come down and check it out because this is like the only place where you can actually come down and get hands on and actually use this thing like for what it's intended for. And I mean, look, Playtech number one for VR so get down and check it out because the thing is with stuff like this is it's a big investment and I wouldn't want to spend that money on something I haven't tried so yeah if you if you get a chance by all means come down have a blast on it it's a hell of a lot of fun and then you can make up your mind if you want to part with a lot of money to have that kind of fun in your own home so but we'll actually we'll get into a lot more depth in this coming up because we're going to get Dave up to play tech and we'll have a play with it and make you a proper video on this and we'll tell you way more in depth about it later on in the Tech Cave channel. So we'll see it then. I've got, I'm hungry. Holy crap, I found a park, finally. Did like two laps of the race course. And I'm now, I was half an hour early and now I'm 25 minutes late. So it took an hour to get around and get a park. So fabulous. Um, Matt and Kathy are on their way, but they're going to be stuck in the same problem that I have. Finally! Oh, hi! Hi! Too much traffic. <laughs> it's ridiculous! It's ridiculous! There's no time for catching up, Matthew. I'm doing my thing. Oh, we're doing, oh. We're okay. doing talky stuff. <laughs> okay, so we made it like an hour and a bit to actually get in, but we're here. Everyone's here. Got Big really Matt, Kathy, well little Matt. With the car park. Hey guys. Yeah, we've done about 20 laps of Alexandra Park. <laughs> so, without further ado, Let's look around the home show. Oh, sparkles! There's someone swimming, literally swimming in the sparkle. That is awesome. <laughs> is it going to make dinner for me? Sorry? Is it going to make dinner for me as well? For that kind of race? Yeah, handbag matches. <laughs> it's a guest handbag. <laughs> Yeah. It'd be better when you, you've got water jets. How are you guys? <laughs> why is it $4,200? Hey, made in New Zealand. So why is it $4,200? <laughs> I think the other thing that we need to do, now that Matt just mentioned he should have brought his sunglasses, is we need to do an entire segment on dudes looking at Kathy while holding their wife's hands. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that are not at home, that, that are at home and couldn't be with us today and haven't had a good look at Kathy, here you go. <laughs> Hi, why would they be looking down? I don't know why. Hang on, here we go. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> How to eat healthy. <laughs> Balanced diet. No, well, Better think? living, everyone. <laughs> what do you think about that cooker? Looks like it's gonna to be too difficult to clean. Hey, but how are you? That's my issue. Like, what happens if I touch it? Look, look at all these like groups. Do you know the issue that I have with this? What? The name. It's not big enough. Why? What's the name of it? Smeg. No. It's not a sexy name. I don't want to cook on a smeg. Like, oh, well, what's your cooker? A smeg. Doesn't sound. Well, it's very it close to smegma, isn't it? Precisely. Mm. Do you know what I am excited about? We passed an intelligent toilet. What's intelligent about it? I don't know. Does it like weigh your poop? Uh, do you want to go find out? Like, Can once we? you've done your donuts, go have a crap and find out what's intelligent about it. Actually, it's status updates when you sit on it. Is that what it does? It does, yeah. So, you know, so at the Empire Media underscore NZ just did a three pounder. So, if you live in Ponsonby and you wear non prescription glasses, you'll probably love this. It's retro and it's denim. I want to touch it. Do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Still want to touch it? Not as much. <laughs> it's going to wear this for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, here's a warm dry as well. A warm dry? So it blow dries your bum too? You can. 
Oh my god, it's actually <laughs> it blow dries your bum. <laughs> Put your hand in it, it blow dries your bum. I don't want to. If there's one thing in the world that I love, it's a good shower. And like this is like porn for me. Why would the plant take the poop? Fertilizer. Touche. I'm not just a pretty face. I know shit. I think if the zombies come up on more than a sliding door. No, because that you know, like if you're quiet and you don't move, because you know they're attracted to noise and sound, so you go like this and you hide and you stay really still. And then when they fuck off, then you're like, I'm, I've got my food supply. I've probably got some knives and shit to like get the heat. It takes far too long, though. How many people could you fit on this at one time? How many seats do you want? Uh, yeah, so we pretty much shouldn't buy this couch. So, yeah. no naughty times on the couch. Well, broken. also no fucking heavy training times on the couch as well, because you'll exceed the weight limit, and so will I. This is a bit of me, this is a, like a, entertainment one. Oh my god, it's got cup holders, sold. What does this bit do? Oh, it's just where you put your cups. Okay. Oh look, so you can... You know. Oh look, it's got a USB port right there. Does it really? I don't know what a USB port is. I oh, thought it was a button. Oh my god, I figured it out before you did. Push your button. Bye -bye. This should be the thumbnail for the video. Bye bye, people. I am now going to the thumbnail. Man stuff. We found the barbecues. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's, oh fuck, it's got an electric shock off of it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And it's got the hot thing on it. You know, like your pants got stuck in it or whatever, and then it like rocked and it was really horrible. Yeah. Who the fuck is gonna pay $159 for a piece of shit chair? Yeah. I'm gonna have to bleep out so much of what you've said. But yes, it does seem extortionate. But the thing is, the thing that's really worse mm -hmm. is that there are idiots that will pay it. Why? So they can pretend that they went to school here yeah, and like, I don't know. Yeah. They are like horrible school kids. Matt's gonna go prank some guy that's just trying out of bed. I can totally Is he gonna like actually run in? I mean, you have to buy something for it. Yes, a furry piece of chocolate from wall panel. Hmm? You got this, you can build your deck by yourself. Yeah, I can do it by myself now. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, it is like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm, you, I'm good at puzzles. If you're a DIY chick, you can do it. Have you watched <laughs> the vlog? No, you I don't do watch it. TV. You don't watch TV? No. My husband built it and then I'll just put the jigsaw puzzle bits back together. You can help bring out the cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's not misogynistic at all. No. <laughs> well, that one you can put on the back as a fifth wheel of a truck, so. <laughs> It's bigger than my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to, yeah. yeah. It's very cool. like, It'll be tight, but. Yeah, but it's still like really cute. It's, it's pretty cool, little... really. Yeah. Like, as a holiday home, this would be really cool. Yeah. Eight, 18 months. I do know what you mean. Someone said it was like a, a cruise ship. Yeah, do you that's mind? What they said yesterday. Look how many people are in there. Oh, it's nice points. feeling a spaciousness, eh, with the eight. So, yeah, they've come a long way in recent years. You may have seen me on a TV ad for QCAD doing a similar. Oh, my shit. I'm too old for this um, shit. Oh, I don't well, know. please don't I swear it's for YouTube. <laughs> oh god, now you're expecting well, too much. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want me to edit myself? <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell us about Easy Cabins. Okay, so Easy Cabins, here it is. It is. Do you want to go outside so I can talk to these people? Yeah. Thank you. This is my husband. And, uh, so, what yeah. this is, is this. Oh no. So, what this is, is. You even want to listen so I don't have to repeat myself 10 times. Yeah, well, so everybody in. Come everybody in. Come on. Oh, I'll Anyone get to see? Come <laughs> on. So, so this is an easy cabin. This yeah. is our prototype. So Matthew and I right at this moment are in a sauna. It's not on, unfortunately. But I actually really like this. Now that I'm going to the gym and stuff, I go in the sauna every day after a workout and I love it. 
It would be great to have it at home though. It's one of those selling points for uh, when you got a girl over here on Tinder. Come over, I've got a sauna. My house literally smells of rich, hot oh, really? cedar. I don't know, I don't know what you make a spa, uh, sauna out of. But still, mm. that'd be pretty dope to pull girls. Said they'd be sweaty. I'm starting to think this is the spa and other things show because there are, what do you reckon? 15 places that sell spa balls? Oh, at least. At least. And they all have kind of the same problem. Is that I don't have enough friends to justify buying a big one. Hey all, so that was the home show. Um, I came back here and I just had a nap because I was wrecked. Um, so, oh, it's about dinner time. So, I was hopefully going to go out with Ivana and have um, a steak dinner. However, Ivana has bailed because Ivana is also wrecked because she's been very, very, very busy working hard, all that stuff. So instead, I'm going to go catch up with my mate Dylan and have some pizza. And then um, our man Ross, that does all the, you've seen all the VR stuff, um, Ross's band's playing tonight, so I'll go and get some footage of that. Um, but I'll probably just smash it out on my phone and then reconvene with you guys in the morning. <laughs> Actually, one last thing that I want to talk about is a shout out, and it's a shout out to my car. Uh, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know that I had a, had a high ace super custom that I absolutely loved. I love that that, tr that van. Um, and I ended up getting rid of it and the guy that I got rid of it to ended up swapping me for this 2008 uh, SV6. And the thing that I love about this car, I mean it's a great car, drives nice, rides nice, all that stuff. But the amazing thing about this car is that I filled this car up the day before I left, drove to the gym, drove to the supermarket, drove home and then drove to Auckland. And I drove from where I live in the lakes in Tauranga to Auckland, to Silverdale, back to the city, all around the city uh, for three days, and then drove all the way back, and I still have a quarter of a tank of gas. And I'm back. Like, that is phenomenal fuel economy for a V6 that I enjoyed the shit out of coming back over the uh, Kaimai Ranges, which I just did. I was racing a guy in a Suzuki Swift. No, I wasn't racing. That would be irresponsible, but we were comparing the uh, maneuverability and performance of our vehicles at the same time on the same stretch of road, but, and, and mine won. But the point is, is that even driving like a bit of a knob from time to time, this thing is still super economical. So I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, thought I'd just mention it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, thanks for hanging out, hope you enjoyed, and we will see you again very soon. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and you'll be one of the first to see it. Alright, love you, bye.